Have you ever thought about what it would be like to see music, taste words, or hear colours? You might think you need to be on some sort of psychedelic drug to have such an experience, right? Well, that's not the case. You can experience this if you have a particular neurological condition where two or more senses of the brain are crossed. The stimulation of one sensory pathway, for example hearing, leads to an automatic involuntary experience in a second sensory pathway, such as vision. This is known as synesthesia and can create some very unique perceptions of the world. In other words, when one sense is triggered, another unrelated sense is activated simultaneously. You curious? Keep watching! People who have synesthesia are called synesthetes. For synesthetes, the sound of a passing car might create the taste of cookies, or hearing music could make them sense the sound as swirls or patterns of colour. Some studies reveal unusual connections in synesthetes' adjacent brain regions, similar to those in babies. In fact, it is believed that all babies have synesthesia until they are about four months old after which the neural connections that cause synesthesia separate. The condition occurs in about 4% of the population and is more common in women than in men. It also appears to be genetic, since the condition can run in families. Though it can manifest in many ways, the most common is grapheme colour, in which individual letters and numbers are associated with specific colours and sometimes colourful patterns. Since synesthesia can involve any combination of the senses, there may be as many as 60 to 80 subtypes, but not all have been documented or studied, and the cause is unclear. Synesthesia can manifest in some really intriguing ways, such as Lexical gustatory synesthesia It is one of the rarest forms of synesthesia in which the person associates words with certain tastes. Chromesthesia it is another common form of synesthesia, which is the association of sounds to colours. Mirror touch synesthesia It is a form of synesthesia that causes a person to feel a sensation of touch when they see someone else being touched. Misophonia It literally means hatred of sound. It is a form of synesthesia in which sounds trigger strong negative emotions like disgust and anger. Personification this is where ordered sequences, like numbers, days of the week, or letters, all have particular personalities, and even appearances. Some synesthetes can even have more than one type of synesthesia. Unsurprisingly, synesthetes are eight times more likely to work in a creative capacity, and quite a few talented artists through history have had it. While there is no way to diagnose synesthesia, Synesthetes have a few things in common. Their mixed perception of senses is involuntary and happens without them having to think about it. Their condition is experienced rather than imagined, which means they wouldn't have to think about it, their brain would make the association immediately. The sensory mix-ups are always the same, which means the colour purple will always taste like strawberries and will not taste like apples on a different day to someone with that type of synesthesia. The secondary perception is usually more memorable than the primary one, so if a synesthete associates someone's name with a colour, they will remember the colour first before the name. There's no specific treatment for synesthesia. Many people seem to enjoy perceiving the world in a different way than the general population. On the other hand, some synesthetes feel that their condition makes them different and they have trouble explaining what they experience to others. Talking to other synesthetes, either in person or on the internet, will help realise that there are others who experience the same thing and help deal with feelings of isolation. Speaking with a mental health professional may also help synesthetes to see the value that synesthesia adds to their life. Instead of having a dominant side of the brain, both sides of their brain harmonise nicely as they pursue work they're passionate about. For now, synesthesia is just another phenomenon and we don't completely understand the things that go on inside our brains. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, keep watching You Curious. Discover more. Know more.